I'm here with my good friend Diego, who is very much like a sister to me, except he's kind of hairy. And he, today he recommended that we get breakfast here at a place called Siete Sofas, which is right behind me. So why this place? Well, it has a lot of variety, uh, not just in regards to soup. The name translates to seven soups. Uh, they have quite a variety of soups, but also a lot of other Peruvian dishes, typical dishes. Uh, it's also owned by the same guy who uh, made another sandwich place called La Lucha. Have you been to La Lucha? Yes, many, many, many times. I think almost every tourist knows La Lucha by now. <laughs> so hopefully you like this. So we just put our order in and they just brought us some bread while we wait, which is free for any time you come here. Kind of like chips in the US, I guess. And we all ordered like pretty much one of each of these. I think somebody that I'm with actually ordered this, so I should be trying that too. <laughs> As he slips his mouth with this really good garlic bread, they gave you kind of the fixings. Um, this is the corn, actually, right? This is uh, what they call uh, canchita serrana. It's sort of uh, a serrana popcorn. Uh, it's what they usually give uh, here for appetite. It is really good too. Like you sometimes find this in the uh, ceviche. You gotta try the garlic bread, it's really good. How is it? It's really good. And the all is really good too. It has the chives in it, which gives it a nice little kick. Okay, so they just brought us our three soups, but I'm still a little baffled as to why Diego recommended soup for breakfast. Can, can you explain that? Can you explain why not soup for breakfast? It's ponedor. <laughs> <laughs> But for real though. <laughs> okay, so Peruvians have a tradition of eating the le using the leftovers from the night before and making soup with it. Why? Because it's a simple dish, uh, but we've elevated it to an art. So you can see that the soup have the soup have a lot of spices in it. For example, you have here the beef soup, uh, sopa criolla. You have your chicken noodle soup over here, which you might be familiar with, except it's more flavorful. And this is the day soup, the, which is somewhat like a roasted beef as well. And now, my favorite part, getting to try the soup. Hopefully, I don't burn my tongue. Mm. So how about it? Is soup for breakfast a bad idea? It's a wonderful idea. Like, how come we don't have stuff like this in the States? Now you and, and you have less food going to waste, which is awesome. Now like, you have to say it's, it's ponedor. It's ponedor. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. And now for the caldo de gallina, which is basically a very homey Peruvian style uh, chicken noodle soup. Mm. How does it smell? Oh. oh man, that is like like a kick of flavor right in the face. <laughs> that is really good. You think that it's going to be very light, and it is, but. For a lighter soup or broth, it, it has so much flavor in it. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Let me try. Mm. It's definitely amazing. It's really good. And he has the soup of the day, which... I already tried, but it's really good. Try it. Should reach over the table. Don't mind me. Oh wow. Oh wow. So which one's your favorite so far? These two are much lighter in broth. Um, but still, like, don't let that discourage you because I mean, sometimes like when people think of lighter broth, they think that you lose a lot of flavor. In these cases, not at all. Um, but I think I like this one better just because I love a lot of spices. When I cook, I tend to pour the whole spice cabinet in whatever I'm cooking and pray for the best. Um, but in this case, it's, it's absolutely delicious. So, we did some damage and I'm absolutely stuffed. But I, Nikki, am 110% in favor of soups for breakfast. Now, we're gonna wait a little while, probably go walk off a few of these uh, calories that we racked up, 
and I will meet you at the next location where we'll be having lunch. Many tourists come here to Peru and they're not as adventurous as I am. They stick with like fast food and Italian food or what have you. But I promise you, try pollo a la brasa. It will literally be the best chicken you've had in your life. Now, Diego, why have you chose La Leña over all the other Pollo a la Brasa places that we could go to? Well, Pollo a la Brasa is a very popular dish here in Peru. It's very commercial and so it's uh, wide, very widespread. But if you want real quality Pollo a la Brasa, La Leña uses wood fire uh, to slowly cook the chicken over time. And so they put a lot of spices in it. It makes it very special. You'll, t you'll be able to tell once you taste the texture and the flavor that it's quite different. Now, I've tried pollo a la brasa all through Peru so far at different places, so I'm really excited to go try this place now. <laughs> they just brought us the chicken, and I was told his name was Roger. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> um, but it looks succulent. You can see the juices kind of already dripping out of the, the chicken. The skin is very crispy and I'm sure that the, the meat inside is just so full of flavor and juiciness. As tradition, they bring you ahi, chimichurri, and this is like a mayo mixture. You get papas, or french fries, and salad. And this isn't a plug, I'm not sponsored by any means, but while you're in Peru, I highly recommend trying Inca Cola. It is like the number one drink here in Peru and you won't regret it. It's really good. I'm just gonna try one of these like right off the bat. I wanna try this skin, it's really crispy. <laughs> Never disappointed mm. with Peruvian potatoes. You can actually taste a little hint of the wood fire in it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You know the skin has a very different flavor than any of the other pollo a la brasa that we've, we've been to. Now, to try the actual meat. Mm. It's so juicy. Like, surprisingly juicy. Like, bursting with flavor. I feel like we're like just wanting to like put stuff in our face up. <laughs> instead of like talking <laughs> it's that good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i just had the absolute best chicken i've had in my entire life whether you come to peru and want to take my recommendation to la leña there's this place or there's so many others but now I'm headed towards the place that we're going for dinner, which is Nikkei food, which is a Japanese Peruvian infusion. And to finish off today, Diego has brought me to this Japanese Peruvian restaurant. So why exactly this Japanese Peruvian restaurant? Well, Nikkei food is pretty, pretty prevalent here in Peru. Nikkei being a Peruvian fusion with Japanese cuisine. So what usually people, um, the Peru Peruvian food has a lot of uh, seafood mm. and so it complements very well with Japanese cuisine, which also uses a lot of seafood. For example, a Peruvian staple dish, which is, which is ceviche, uh, sometimes works to make uh, you know, a fusion between the makis and well, Peruvian cuisine. That sounds delicious. Let's go ahead and go inside and try it out. So our first rolls just got here and I ordered the cevichado classico, which is basically a fusion take or on sushi, which is like ceviche, which is a very popular Peruvian dish that you'll find everywhere. Essentially, a ceviche is raw fish cooked with Peruvian lemons, which have a lower concentration of, uh, of pH, which makes them the most sour lemons in the world. I got the yume rolls, which are the staple of this uh, place. Uh, you, uh, the, the leche, they have leche de tigre, which is sort of like ceviche, but it's a little bit more dense. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. So there's a lot of flavors going on. It's a both creamy, 
um, and also crunchy because it has avocado in it. Peruvian avocados that are a oh, little bit so more, good. the texture of Peruvian avocado is a little bit more soft. like sometimes like when you get regular you know sushi rolls or whatever they're very simple for the most part you know like the run-of-the-mill uh, flavors but when you mix it with like the very flavorful Peruvian uh, food then you get this wonderful like complimentary um, sushi roll like absolutely delicious and more food has just arrived we have the stereotypical appetizer the gyoza and then this roll is the obamaki um, basically it is fish tuna pauta which is avocado and ahi sauce and this is the saitama i believe and it has what they said is uh, i don't know <laughs> well, let's just let's just try it, right? We'll figure it out. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's a lot of flavors going on right there. Good flavor. Now, this 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 guy does he want to be tried? I've been looking forward to this. Okay, be that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh god. Mm -hmm. I am missing out on it. Okay. That has a kick to it. But I have this. Mm. Such this like creaminess to it. Like such wonderful smoky ahi flavor mm. that you can find all throughout Peruvian cuisine. Oh, yeah, it's like orgasm. It is taste. delicious. No. <laughs> the sauce is just perfection. It has a more of a cheesy but smoked taste to it. Mm. And on top and below that, the crunchy texture of perfection. The no. This roll was absolutely delicious, and while we were going to just stop with the food that we presented earlier, we had to order seconds. But I wanted to correct because we said this was the obamaki, but can you explain what this actually is? Yes, this is the, we, there was a bit of a mix up. This is the furamaki. Uh, the obamaki was a, the other one. Now, this is flambéed Parmesan cheese over with spicy um, octopus sauce. It smells so good. So, you know, I've never actually seen any tourists in here because it is kind of a little outside of Utifor is where a lot of the tourists do stay, but I highly recommend this place. I will go ahead and leave the names of all of the places that I visited and indications of where you can find them so you can give them a try too. Trust me, you will not regret it. It's absolutely amazing food. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more travel tips and videos. Now it is time for us to destroy. Let me smash Becky.